Hey YouTube world, what's up everybody? Just thought I'd get on here and do a video. I'm gonna do a video of makeup, hair products, and then some uh, miscellaneous things. So I'm actually gonna start with the miscellaneous things, start with, and then go with the big things, and then the small makeup, and then probably the hair. So, um, I don't want this video to be super, super long, um, so, I thought that I would go ahead and jump into this. All right, I got this hair styling tool mat the other night. It's black or whatever, and um, it's flexible non-slip silicone, protects surfaces while using hot styling tools, secures with loops, and safe storage. I really desperately need something like this for, especially my straightener. I use my straightener pretty much every day that I go out. So this is perfect. I paid $3.84 for this at Walmart. And usually that they're a lot higher than this. So this is a great deal. I just bought this the other night, so it's still in the package. So I have never used it yet. And then I'm going to do this big um, thing. I actually bought this at a Goodwill about 30 to 45 minutes down the road for me and yes it is a Christmas collection but it was still in plastic and the thing that made me so excited was none of it was broke everything is together or whatever all the eyeshadows the blush um, lipstick even a brush here eye applicator um, just everything whatever and I thought the cool thing was is this is a little mirror I don't want to blind and then you can take one of these eyeshadow palettes trays and it'll snap down in here you can use this with the mirror or even if you're a busier person you can take this put it in here and close it I have not ever used any of this yet I just got it so I just thought I would take all these products that I had and put them all in a video together because I have not done one of these in several years. Um, also, when I go to the hair products this and makeup, this video is not sponsored. I have to uh, put that in there. But, anyways, but I thought it was so cool or whatever. And these blushes are so cute. And all the eyeshadows. So purple is pretty much my color. I use most of the time light purple with whites. Um, I haven't ever used any greens, but I know greens are my colors too. So, I've just been putting the lid back on it that way it can stay safe. And then I'm going to start with makeup. I got this set back in the summertime, which is still summer here, but back in June, right after my birthday. And I got, and they are Juicy Couture. This one, they always have been used once for blush, once for bronzing, I think, and then once for foundation. So, I've been using these or whatever. They are great quality. I only paid $7 for these at Michael's. Not Michael's, Marshall's. So, um, yes. And, um, that's all in brushes that I have. I'm going to do this or whatever. I also got this. Um, at Marshall's, um, when I bought the, um, Juicy Couture brushes, the only thing was, is this, this one right here in the middle was broke, but it was $3.99, I mean $3 or whatever, so I've been using the highlighter in it, and I love it. It is cute. But I've been using some of this or whatever, and then my best friend's been using some of that, um, so... And I thought it came with a little cute brush. And then I got some LA Colors Contour. I actually got this from the Dollar Tree. I have not ever used it yet, but I thought that I could try it out. So I will be doing a review on this. Um, I'll be naming everything I'll do a review on. Let's see. Then I also got this a while back. Um, I actually just got this like a week ago. I got this a while back. It's LA Colors um, 12 color eyeshadow palette. And obviously it's purples. Whoops. 
So, and I've been using this color quite a bit and this color. I've been using this color and blending it with that color. And then sometimes I just use the white by itself. So. Um, also, another thing that I always get from the Dollar Tree is these beauty blenders. They hold up as good as a 7 or $8 beauty blender. So, they are great. I bought several of them. This is actually a blue one, but I've got some of my foundation on its side. Um, this is an e.l.f. Um, concealer. This was in its fair. Um, I actually ended up, when I went to the Dollar Tree, I accidentally ended up buying the wrong one, but it still works perfectly for me. And then, um, my best friend got this Not Your Mother's Blonde Moment Treatment Shampoo. She actually ended up using this L'Oreal Colorista stuff, and it's the same brand if it was blue. And she was doing blue on, on the bottom and pink on the top, and it ended up mixing with purple. I don't know if anyone may have seen my, um, post on Instagram about it. Um, with her hair. Um, but anyways, the blue actually ended up staining the bottom of her hair and she could not do anything. She went to the salon fresh professionally to try to get it out. She couldn't get it out. So we tried this and then another, um, treatment shampoo. I don't remember what the other one is, but she said this works really good and not your mother's product stuff is pretty is pretty good so that's a plus <laughs> then I'm actually going to start in on this um very black wet and wild mega wear mascara this is 88 cents at Walmart 88 cents and it works as good as anything it works as good as my cover girl the super sizer so it works really good and then NYX. The NYX brand is amazing. This foundation is amazing. The Stay Matte But Not Flat. It's liquid foundation. And it is in the soft beige. And I actually ended up picking two of these up. Because they are that good. They actually sell this brand at Walmart. So I'm, I'm very excited about that. I love it. It covers amazing. You just gotta use a little bit. Um, I was thinking about doing a makeup tutorial on this. Excuse me. A makeup tutorial on this with um, the other makeup that I'm going to be showing you um, but I have used this I've actually went through already one of them already and it works really good and then I picked up also picked up every makeup thing I'm showing you I picked up in the same um, same night at Walmart I actually picked up the Maybelline Master Ho Master Holographic Prismatic Highlighter. I have not ever used this highlighter yet. Um, I'm just going to try to open it up so I can show you a little bit better of the color. But um, I can't get the thing open right now. I don't want to struggle for it. Um, but anyways, um, I have not used this yet. I'm sh I've used purples before, but I've not used Maybelline. So I'm excited to use this. Then I picked up, oh, and that one was, let me see if this one has a name. I don't know if it does. No, it just says, it's just, I guess you just call it purple holographic highlighter. Um, I also got this Maybelline New York Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter, and it is in Molten Peach. This is like a more of a peach color. It's more of... A lighter orange on the camera but it's an actual peach color I have not ever used this either um, then there is a dark circle concealer I have not used this by NYX either I am hoping that it works good because I have bad problems with dark circles also you can probably tell that because I don't have makeup on right now um, I also got NYX mineral set it and don't fret it matte finishing powder I have not ever used this either, and this color, it is in medium. So, I have not ever used this yet either, but I'm, I've heard a lot of good things about NYX, because I've, I've just used a foundation and I'm blown away. 
So, um, then I picked up a NYX Zaza Zoo, um, mascara. I needed a new big mascara because I'm just about out and my super sizer and my CoverGirl bombshell. And I actually ended up having a New York City, um, brand of one that was like some, some kind of big one for your eye. It's supposed to make like your, um, your eyelashes like super puffy or like a lot better like they stick out but I ended up running out of it. Now I can't find it so um I'm just gonna switch to the NYX and see how well that works. Um also I got a NYX Studio HD Photogenic Concealer in beige. I'm gonna try their concealer. I've heard pretty good things about their concealer too. And then I actually I just dropped a thing. I actually ended up getting a Away We Glow liquid highlighter. I actually ended up getting a liquid highlighter too. Even though I already got two. I decided to just do the liquid one too. And then I got the NYX Glitter Primer. I have not ever used this either. But I was looking at this side of the box and it looks amazing. So one of these days I'm actually going to try to make a makeup look with all of these products. Um, I'm actually going to try it out first before I actually do a video on it. And then we'll do that. Okay, I'm back. Um, and I got a NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. Um, this color is Respect the Pink. So I'm hoping that color is pretty cute. It's actually more of a... Let's see if you can see it a little bit better. I don't know. <laughs> um, I have to look back up on the quality of this. Let's see if I can get it a little bit better. But anyways... Um, it's a lot of a lot of a lot of pink on the camera, but it's more of like a mixture between a pink and a purple. So I like a violet almost, except it's a little bit lighter than a violet. So, um, anyways, um, actually this is not your mother's beach babe texturizing sea salt spray. I have used this and it's great. Um, it's not recommended for people that have really frizzy hair unless you're gonna use some kind of frizz product, which I actually ended up buying a frizz product. I'm gonna show you all guys, show you guys, but um, actually I really like this. If you're just in a hurry, you spray it on your hair, it works great. It works better than, I think, than any of the scrunch stuff I've ever had. So, then I have L'Oreal Paris Advanced Hairstyle Sleek It Iron Straight Heat Spray 3A Sleek with 450 degree protection. Anyways, I have actually never used this or whatever, so I thought I'd try it or whatever because I really actually need some heat spray stuff because I straighten my hair all the time and it burns my hair really bad. So I thought I'd try that. Then I also just thought I'd try the L'Oreal Paris Alive Smooth Intense Frizz Taming Serum. Up to 72 hours frizz control with system high shine and anti-humidity leave-in. So, it says apply two, one to two pumps to damp hair just to treat it evenly as style on, use, on dry hair. Use small amount to use, fly away, and add shine. Do not rinse. Um, I'm sure this will work. It's just the only thing that I can't find that isn't like in like this. It doesn't really look like it's that thick. But the only thing is when I use this type of stuff, and I'm not, I did not use this brand last time. I really used like a really expensive hair brand, but I have used stuff like this before and it's just, it's okay. It just makes my hair, since my hair's got that shiny tint to it, it makes my hair look like it's oily. So I will give a review on that too. Um, this Dove, I've been getting, let's see, what kind of, let's see what the, uh, it's some kind of pomegranate, I think, or something like that, but I've been using this for whatever, 48 hours, it is really good, it's kind of pricey, depending on where you go, and it is a small bottle for how it, it is priced, 
but it works really good. It works better than the Dove stick that I've been buying, but um, it works pretty good. Then this is a hairspray I have been using for about a year now, and I always pick it up at the, my local Dollar Tree. Um, it works better, I think, than any type of other um, like hairspray I've ever used. I think it works really good. So, let's see how long it says. It just says all day hold. It doesn't say how long, but it works pretty good. I thought it would say, but it's not. Um, and then, Not Your Mother's Kinky Moves Curl Defining Hair Cream, uh, infused with grape seed and jasmine extracts. I have never actually used this. Um, let's see what you do. Wash and towel dry hair. Put a hair in such a great locks. Just blah, 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 blah. This is actually. Whoops. Yeah. This is actually for my best friend. Um, she uses her hair really curly. So the curl defining hair cream would be great for her. I might end up using it and see how the review on it is. If I don't end up using it, I will let you know and um, seeing what she says about it. So I'm trying to like speed up a little bit because this video is kind of long, already 16 minutes long. I'll be talking probably really boring. Um, I've actually got this hard candy long hair, sheer envy. Um, long wear, setting spray, fade resistant, humidity protection, 12 hour long wear and hydration. This setting spray works pretty good. It is a small bottle. So, I mean, I bought it, I think, I gotta think, I gotta, it's the cat and stuff dirty. It's been in my makeup bag. But, um, it's hard candy brand. I actually ended up buying it at Walmart for $6. And I ended up actually finding out that I can even get a taller bottle right about this tall from... Pretty much from that top there at five below for four dollars instead of six dollars for this small thing because I use a lot of this so I feel like that that would last me a lot longer so whenever I get to head over that away I will pick that up and give you an update on that how that works but other than that this works really good I just want to try out new different brands um, I think that was I think that was all I wanted to show. Alright, well, sorry if I bored you um, with this video. I just wanted to show everything that I've used. Everything that I have, I was knocking stuff off. <laughs> everything I have not used, I will do another video and a review on to let you know how it works. I'm hoping that the L'Oreal Alive and the L'Oreal Iron Heat Spray works really good. Because the last heat spray I used... It, um, made my hair sticky and made, like, the plates on my straightener really sticky. So, it did not work that good. So, um, plus it was a smaller bottle than this. So, um, I want to thank you all. Hopefully, you watch my video and I'll, I'll quit yapping and get out of everybody's hair. But I hope you all have a great night or evening or morning or wherever you're at. This video will probably be uploaded in the morning. It will probably actually be uploading during the night time and then be up in the morning. Um, so, I just want to thank you all for watching my video. If you do. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.